welcome back. We are once again at the Extension Office. I'm Tiffany Calvert, Family and Consumer Science Extension Agent. And I'm A.G. Hudnall, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. All right, so today we're talking about coping with triggers. We're going to discuss coping with triggers while grocery shopping, um, eating triggers, and then sitting still triggers. Mm. And so right off the bat, we're going to um, talk about the shopping triggers. So as um, I'm well aware, never go when you're hungry. I've always heard that. Never, never. take your kids when they're hungry yeah. or your spouse. Right. Um, because your grocery cart's going to get full of unneeded items. Mm -hmm. And just really go when you're prepared to go. When you have a list, you're rested, you feel well, because grocery shopping is more than just putting the groceries into the cart. It's That's right. unloading them, you know, onto the checkout line. It's taking them to your truck. It's taking them inside your house. It's finding a place for them to go and storing the cold stuff away. Um, it's pretty intense. Pretty intense So for sure. always go um, when you're prepared. Uh, never go when you're feeling anxious or rushed. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like, you know, I've been a couple of times when I feel rushed and I'm scared I'm going to forget something. So then I'm just throwing things in my cart. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really know if we're out of this, but I'm going to get it just right. in case. And then my right. grocery bill's $300. Right. And that was not in the budget. Um, also, some triggers in the inside the grocery store would be the end caps or the center aisle um, displays or when you get up close to the checkout and you're just faced with all these last minute temptations or something may be promoted as being on sale. Mm -hmm. um, there's coupons, a lot of things, um, a lot of times for junk food items. Right, right. Um, just because you have a coupon doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy the item. Um, a lot of times uh, I don't even clip those coupons. You know, right. it may be save a dollar on some Hershey candy, but I'm not going to clip that coupon because right. I don't need that in my house. Because mm -hmm. um, I know once it's brought into my house, it's going to be eaten by right. somebody. Absolutely. Um, and then even if it's for a special occasion, um, I, I know a lot of times at my house after a birthday party or a social gathering, I'll have foods that I don't normally keep in my home. Right. But it usually causes arguments because I'm like, no, you don't need that Sprite. <laughs> Drink your water. You yeah. don't need that candy before you eat your breakfast. And right. so if it's not in my home, there's no argument. It's, there you it's go. It's peaceful. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's very peaceful. So um, just be prepared when you go grocery shop and think things through. Um, and that will prevent a lot of the triggers. And so, Angie, you have some triggers about eating. Yes, um, like whenever you're hungry. Well, of course, that's mm -hmm. definitely a trigger. You gotta yeah. eat something. So try to choose something that's healthy. Of course, whenever you go into the grocery store, make sure you're choosing those healthier options. So then you'll pick those healthier options from the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, of course, stop when you're full. I mean, a lot of people, I hear that they'll eat and then they'll, <sighs> there's that sigh. When yes. I hear that sigh, I know it's time yes. to stop eating. That means you're full. Your body's trying to tell you you're full. But it tastes so good. Just get a box, put it in it, yeah. saran wrap it, whatever, and put it away and enjoy it more later. You Don't know, finish it right there at that moment. Right. I always encourage people, like your body, it may not be a big sigh like that, but everyone has a natural sigh when you're getting full. That's right. Um, because actually it's 20 minutes before your body even realizes it's mm -hmm. full. So yeah. if we eat fast or we eat in front of a television, our body's not, it's not registering that we're right. full and we're just right. continuing to eat. Especially if we're preoccupied with watching television exactly. or something. Exactly. Yeah. And so um, I'm just going to encourage you that when you start, you know, eating your meals now to listen to your body and watch for that natural Sigh, mm -hmm. um, and you'll you'll see what we're talking about. It it's true. Absolutely. Yeah. It tells you when it's full, mm -hmm. and then of course using a smaller plate. I had a lady tell me about this before. Um, this is how she lost weight. She said instead of using the big dinner plate, she uses the smaller dessert yeah. plate. She said she just filled it up. And then she said, you know, I need to lose weight again. Maybe I need to go down to a smaller place. So yeah. yeah. But that works for her. And now I can see where I grew up in that mentality of fill your plate. You eat everything on your plate. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a smaller plate, then, of course, you don't, mm -hmm. you know, you're not 
it doesn't matter if you eat all of it unless of course you're piling it really high right so i don't even know if my husband noticed but our plates are smaller now because i think it's more of a habit that he makes two trips (laughs) 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 then he really needs to be eating that much Uh and so our plates are just a touch smaller there you go not much but just a touch yeah and then um, nibbling. I'm a bad one about nibbler. Um, you know, we there's a lot of people, you know, you sit and watch TV and you like to nibble like on chips or things like that. You want that yeah. crunchy, salty stuff. Make sure you have some nuts on hand because it's that salty, that crunchy. Yes. We're at ball games all the time. And the ball game, you know, you're sitting there, you're not hungry, you're watching the game, everything's fine. And then they make fresh popcorn. <laughs> I think I want some popcorn. Can yeah. you go get me some popcorn? <laughs> it's almost like you're just kind of bored. Yeah, like yes, need... absolutely. And mm-hmm. it lifts you up. Yeah, you want some popcorn. Instead, grabbing your purse like Tiffany yeah. does. Keep yeah. keep those little snacks and Did stuff. Did you see what I have with me today? Oh, awesome. Look, at that. Look how beautiful that, that is. That is beautiful. And I know you have an office drop too. And a lot of times when I'm doing reports or checking um, lengthy emails, it's like when I'm sitting, my brain says, you're hungry get up, go get something to eat. Because <laughs> you're and getting so bored of stuff, right? if I right? have this, that, that's what I'm going to reach for. Perfect. You know, some Perfect. fruit or some granola. I always have something there. I see you've got your water as I well. I do, I do. I have my water. And so I've got my smoothie. This is my breakfast smoothie. This is just uh, bananas and strawberries and pineapple juice. Um, I was out of frozen avocados, but usually I'll put that in there with there so I can get my omega-3s in for the day. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And then um, Sherry talked about whenever you get bored a little bit or it's bored, lonely, sad, angry, anxious, or stressed. You know, we want to eat. We're stress mm-hmm. eaters or things like that. Mm-hmm. Instead of whenever you whenever you go to eat, think, why am I eating? Is it because I'm hungry or am I bored? Am I upset mm-hmm. or what's going on? And instead of going to the fridge or um, picking something out of the cabinet, just Go talk to somebody. Go talk to your husband. One of your kids. See about what their day, how things are going with them. Or go to a coworker. Mm-hmm. You know, see how their day is. How's everything going for you? Maybe they need that talk just as much as you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I, I encourage mindful eating. And, you know, in your food log, it's, it would be really cool if you would just jot down um, a word or two about how you're feeling at that meal. That's or a great that idea. snack. That's a great um, idea. And then that way you can... Um, find where those triggers are maybe it's later in the afternoon when you're just tired and you're too tired to think about healthy eating and you're just stopping at you know a fast food restaurant or something oh you picked right on me see that's what i do in the (laughs) afternoon it's like two four i get up four get four and man after that it's time to go pick up the kids and then it's it's just and i need a little pick me up so you know Mm -hmm. the local fast food ice cream is right there so that's why i love these smoothies because it's really great i can look forward to getting home and i can make me another one it's not a big deal because it's all fruit Mm -hmm. so it's not going to hurt me you know it's not going to put on those extra pounds like Mm -hmm. a large ice cream well (laughs) (laughs) and then um easy to make of course tiffany shows us right here in the jars you can do those on the weekends or your days off you can yeah. prepare those ones that you talk about all the time mm-hmm. with the fruit cut up or of course the nuts or things like that and whenever you are um trying to grab something you you already got it prepared you're like i'm focusing this mm-hmm. is what i'm getting and so you yeah. grab for that instead of those other things sure. because when you are at the end of the day or you're you're tired you you grab for what's easiest mm-hmm. and usually that's a bag of chips or mm-hmm. something like that and again of course if it's not in the house mm-hmm. you don't have yep. to worry about grabbing so when it. this is already ready to go in my refrigerator this becomes easier than any other thing it even right. becomes easier than scooping ice cream out of the container yes because my kids can go to the refrigerator and grab this out themselves i don't even you know kids have to love do this yeah yep they do um so is that all the triggers for eating well, and, and then there's one more, wasting food. I've talk, talked a little bit about it, but just make sure that you're um, storing those leftovers. Or you can cook in smaller amounts. You know, we're used to, um, when again, when I was growing up, I'm the oldest of six, so we always prepared a lot of food. Right. Well, now we're a family of four, and I grew up uh, cooking for eight people, and I really had to do that adjustment, adjustment you know, so you got to just make those adjustments. And then you think, you know, do we really need six cups of rice? Maybe we only need three. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Um, So in my house, I love leftovers because (laughs) leftovers um, is our lunch for the next day. So I already, you know, after the meal, instead of just sticking it in the refrigerator, I go ahead and portion it out. And so lunches are prepared for the next day. You already do that. 
That's a I good do. idea. Because I know if I don't, then husband won't take in his lunch because he won't get it out of the refrigerator to put it in a separate container. Right. And usually I'm running late in the mornings anyway, and so um, it's just a whole lot easier. Grab and go. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, so some triggers for sitting still, and we all struggle with that um, at some point or another. Even if you don't have an office job, um, at some point you're gonna struggle with sitting still. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's traveling that's getting you, maybe you're on the road a lot. Um, And so I know one time at work, and I need to bring this back, and I hope this program is going to encourage me to bring it back, but I would sit on an exercise ball at my computer Good rather idea. than a chair because yeah. in a chair I find myself you know sitting still leaning and then by the late afternoon I'm actually like laying back <laughs> slumping thinking I'm just not gonna get which out of is this seat. bad for our core <laughs> yes yes and so with the exercise ball you're sitting up you feel stronger you feel like you can get up and down run to the copier you know whatever is needed and um it's uh, more energizing. I wonder what Rhonda will think if I bring in an exercise ball. Hey, I got made fun of a lot here. Will you a back lot. me up? I will back you okay, up. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh, Just do it for the health of it. Okay. Um, and if, if for some reason you're in a situation where you've got some knee issues or joint problems um, that's preventing you from moving more, then... Um, I would suggest, um, you know, talk to your doctor if you need to. Maybe it's physical therapy that you need, Mm -hmm. but um, just small steps. You know, just if you just park further away from the grocery store or whatever store or even the parking lot where you go into work, just a few extra steps during the day. And then, um, did you know there's a thing called chair yoga? I've heard of that, but I've not seen that. Because, you know, yoga is very intimidating to somebody that's new or feels like they can't get up and down and out of the floor. Um, But there is chair yoga. I've tried it one time, and it was amazing. Um, I still feel like I got a workout. They still worked on your core. Um, And yoga really just works on your mind, just to relax and breathe. (laughs) <laughs> we can all do that, for yes, sure. Yes, <laughs> we can all do that. We can all use some of that. Um, and then, of course, um, triggers for sitting still would be um, watching television, mm. um, any screen time, whether it's the kids on their video games or adults on their smartphones, computer, internet searching. Um, you know, a lot of times when I do get on the elliptical in the basement, and it's Good no job. longer drying my clothes <laughs> as a clothesline. Good job. Um, I try to read a book, or that's when I'm checking my messages on my phone mm-hmm. when I'm on that elliptical. Oh. Um, and so that's another way that you can overcome sitting still. And that's um, good. I know a lot of people have the Fitbits uh-huh. um, and have apps on their phone. Mm-hmm. And a good goal would be an average of 10,000 steps a day. That's a good goal to keep Mm -hmm. in mind. But, you know, if you're someone that only gets 5,000, just step it up a little bit. Try Mm 6,000, you know, for a week or two. Small steps go a long way. And usually small steps are longer lasting. Right. Don't be too hard hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think a week from now that you're going to run a 5K. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Small (laughs) steps. Um, And then I would also suggest, you know, with it getting warmer outside for family time to be riding bikes and kayaking and just taking some simple nature walks. Mm -hmm. You know, my kids love to be outside and we take a lot of nature walks. Well, I tell you, I had, I took your advice. Yes. It was the weekend and I was looking at the kids because my husband was at work and I said, we got to do something productive today. I said, we can stay home and clean house all day. Well, Dave was like, no. (laughs) I said, or we can go to the zoo. Well, they're teenagers. They ain't been to the zoo in a few years. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So we went to the zoo. Of course, there was lots and lots and lots and <laughs> lots of walking. So we definitely got our exercise. Yes. So we made it a day of it. So we got our exercise and got to enjoy the day, too. That is awesome. And so, you know, triggers is just really about changing your habits. If you mm-hmm. know that um, something is a trigger for you, then try changing your habits. If you need to get more sleep at night so that you're not so tired. Yeah. If you need to plan ahead and have healthier options in your home. 
don't you know get rid of the cookies and right. and the and the chips and just create healthier habits right. um, even around the holidays you know I, I tell I start about a week or two out before major holidays reminding in-laws and grandparents we don't do candy we don't you know like yeah. and giving them suggestions on healthier alternatives instead of that Easter basket full of mm-hmm. you know and you can sugar turn that around. And chocolate and yeah. <laughs> You can turn that around as well. You know, we think about our children, but we don't think about our older family members or our older friends maybe in the office. We we may talk about, oh, they got poor health or we want to help them out. Um, create that environment of health for right. them. Instead of bringing, you know, their favorite dessert that you bring, start bringing a healthier option for them so that they'll be their new favorite choice and right. know it's good for their health. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so um, we want to help you to identify your triggers. And if you have um, trouble coping with those triggers, we are here to offer you suggestions. And we thank you for tuning in.